Okay, this is um, this is where the owl has roosted. And if you look directly below, you will see signs of the owl. Excrement, which you can see on the rock, and owl pellets, which we can collect for further investigation. So we'll just pick these pellets up. Owl pellets may contain bacteria, so it's best to use tongs and place them directly into a sealable container. Owl pellets contain regurgitated bones, fur and feathers they cannot digest. Examination of these pellets allows us the opportunity to investigate the diet of the Boo Book Owl. We can now place one of the pellets into a container of water, then gently tease out the pieces of prey from the pellet matrix. If you don't have tweezers, toothpicks make great tools for doing this. This looks like a small piece of bone. And this looks like we've got a, uh, a leg of a beetle. Place each piece onto paper so it can be identified later. As you can see, there are many bones and insect parts contained in just one pellet. Use a magnifying glass to identify each piece. Let's take these pieces and have a closer look at them under a dissecting microscope. This piece looks like the jaw of a small rodent, probably the common field mouse. Note all the fur on the bone. It's this fur that makes up the matrix of the pellet. Now we have cleared the bone of the fur, you can clearly see some identifying features. The teeth or molars, and the distinctive incisor. Indeed, this piece is the jaw of a small rodent, such as the introduced species, the house mouse. Here are some other pieces of bone found in the owl pellet. And here is a closer look at some of the pieces of a beetle also found in the pellet. Digesting and then regurgitating pellets can be quite revealing in determining the Boo Book Owl's diet. No wonder they look for a quiet roost for the daytime.